good day and welcome to my China. China where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Kunyedi and I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who has been asking a lot of questions. We say thank you and welcome to a brand new year. We've done our plans and we'll kick off immediately. There are a lot of things in stock for us this year so uh, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please hit that subscribe button hit that like button that is the only way we can see that you appreciate what we are giving so today we are going to talk about how to determine the footing a part footing when when you are doing your design how do you know which size of footing to use? This is a very simple way I will be explaining. It will be a very easy way. So once you understand this, you can proceed and do any footing. The procedures are the same. So let's dive right in. So um, if you want how to determine the sizes of your footing, the first thing you need to do is the first thing you need to do about your design is one you need your soil test report the reports of the soil the capacity of the soil very important um, the the use of that building will it be used for an high rise or a low rise or a medium rise building so those are information you need to know um, will it be an industrialized um, structure and industry or a factory or just a residential all those information will help you determine the load that will be coming on the soil and which type of um, footing to use which footing to use so if it's an high rise then you shouldn't be talking about pad foundation or if it's medium or low rise then we can talk about pad but if it's high rise or if the this bearing capacity is very low we should not be talking about pad footing so but in this case our bearing capacity is good and is a low rise just a single floor and mostly um, we start by assuming the the footing depth to use but there's a way we can always learn the exact way but based on experience we've known that okay for a single floor 350 mm should fly should be okay so that is what we'll use in this example so the assume footing depth we are assuming 350 tick footing if you choose to use 400 or whatever you want to use same process then the self weight of the footing will not be um, the depth of the footing times specific weight of concrete when you multiply it you will get 8.4 kilo newton per meter square so for our soil capacity we are having 150 kilonewton per meter square and now for the net bearing capacity subtract the weight of the of the footing from the bearing capacity and you get the net bearing capacity and that is what we will be working with um, but there is other school of thought that they don't even bother they don't even bother taking out the self weight of that um, footing or well, indefinitely the the footing is already adding weight to your structure so you have to factor that into it so um, now we get to the load and please pay attention in dealing with footing in determining the size of the footing what you use is your service load your service load or factored load 
so which we've done what we've calculated from us our dead load on that column is 500 kilonewton while the life load is 50 kilonewton if you add both of them you get 550 kilonewton so now the area of the footing area of the footing will now be the axial load which is this divided by the net the net bearing capacity that we've gotten so when we did that when we did that we are getting 3.88 418 meter square so now area becomes length times breadth length times breadth but since it's a square length times length or breadth times breadth so what we do to get a length will now be we find the square root of of the area so if we get the square we are having 1.970 meter then we need to just approximate to 2 meter and if you approximate to 2 meter therefore the size of the footing will now be 2 meter by 2 meter so this is the way you calculate for your pad foundation it's typical and anyhow you do it this is the procedure and if we we'll come we've come to the end of um, the the, the video or if you still have any question please feel free to uh, let us know and if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button till we come again remain blessed thanks